Okay guys, we're back again. This is Seven Gamer. Uh we're playing some Primordia. I'm picking up right where we left off. Uh the previous episode is uploading now, so let's get back going. When we left off we had just got shot in the chest and something of ours got stolen by a giant robot. It looks like an alienware computer tower. So what we have on us is a data pouch, two conduits, a cable, a lantern, a plasma torch, and putty with one the end of a piece of cable. So uh what what we want to do right now is take this plasma torch and uh what that'll do is stick it in the quick use slot. You can only have one item in there at a time. But um, we have to use it very shortly, so that's why I put it there. It couldn't hurt to bring the gospel of man with us. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. I'm going to uh, make it to where we can get as much of the story through the game as possible. And if I do leave out any parts in-game, um, I'll explain it to you myself, because... Like I said, I just played through this the other day, so now I remember most of it. It's just sometimes that I'll probably get to a spot and uh, you'll be wondering, you know, something that seems to have been left out. So, I'll explain it. It's the Unique's tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to go to the jump pile through the map. What we have here is a, a, a train that's buried, buried in a rubble. It's three pieces of Gordium conduit. Unfortunately, one of them is completely corroded and worthless. Well, nuts. Means we only have four. Uh, we need one more. We can read this. I'll read it after we get the generator up. That's kind of more important. And I don't like that it replaced my uh, porch with my... What well, can't do it. It's locked tight. Yep, it's a lock box, so we're going to cut Let's it open. Let's see if this works. Is that a spark plug, boss? Who locks up a spark plug? <laughs> Actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. Oops. Well, we got a spark plug to fix our generator with. It's locked tight. Let's try this. It's a reinforced steel. That shouldn't make any difference, but okay. There's a piece of Gordium conduit way back there. Yeah, use the plasma torch to... Crispin, you know, can you go in there grab, and get that piece of conduit? I suppose. Grab conduit out of the back of the long pipe. That was real smart. That would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. Okay, so. Now we have all five pieces of conduit. Mm, excuse me. We're going to want to go back to the ship and fix the generator. First, we need to weld these conduits together. Time for a little welding. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. I'm just going to tell you, this guy is the fastest welder I've ever seen in my life, so. Why, why are you going to do Okay, this is our big conduit. I'm going to stick it in the socket. I've played this part so many times trying to get all my video and everything set up correctly. I'm going to use the spark plug there. Then you got your little red switch down here. And da 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 We have light. I thought we were in trouble when Big Ugly stole our core. 
But just like that, problem solved. The problem is not solved. Well, I agree. The noise leaves something to be desired. This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency, boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, do we have another one? <laughs> no. Which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case... First dibs on the recharge station! So, what's the plan, boss? We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury! First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can't you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. And you just make one of those, too? I'm just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor, though man alone knows where it's buried now. Okay, well, you know, he hates the city and it's in his core logic and he can't change it. That's why I'm going to tell my uh, professor the next time they say, where's your homework? I hate homework. Well, don't you think it's, it's a fire in... hazard to have all those books piled up like that? How would they catch fire? I'm going to say, I hate homework. It's in my core logic. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Crispin, why is your diary still scattered all over the floor? Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. Well... Well then, uh, the next thing we're going to hang on. Ah, uh, we'll go this one first. Okay, first of all, this radio gets on my nerves because it. Listen. There's only one channel. What kind of radio is this? find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. Yes, it does. Uh, we're going to want to pick up this LCD screen right here. It's part of what we need. It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. I found this in the dunes. It reads, Pound pastrami, can kraut, six bagels, Bring home for Emma. Now, uh, I don't know. That note, the uh, shopping list, it gets recorded in your data. I've never figured out what, what that's for, so. A mysterious list I found in the dunes. So, who knows? The original designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here! Awesome set of tractor treads. I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. Well then. There's the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay, we've got the plans now. Uh, can't look at any more of those notes. Uh, that's the inventory button, of course. So, we need to find the crystal. I'm going to do that next episode. Um, it goes with this, this, and this. And, uh, but it's about time for me to get off. <clears throat> so, I will record another one shortly. Uh, these aren't taking too long to upload, so it's not a big problem for me to record three or four of these at a time, and I'll get them done in a day. So, keep on gaming, friends. Uh, I'm glad to be able to do this for y'all. I hope you enjoy it. Tell me what you think about it. Keep on gaming, like I said. Okay, see y'all later.